Are you not feeling good about anything, feeling tired or exhausted? Due to various events and circumstances happening day to day in our life, we start having negative thoughts. This fear, anger, pessimism is commonly called negativity. Many people often spend time worrying about the future by remembering past events and generally focusing on bad times in life. These negative or unwanted thoughts cause anxiety and sadness and reduce our energy. Whatever is happening in the environment around us, negative and positive, also affects our mental state. It is not in our hands to control whatever is happening, but to prepare our brain for that negativity. How to deal with it is completely in our hands. With continuous practice, negative thinking patterns can be replaced with thoughts that give happiness and joy. Let us know some of the most effective ways to stop negative thinking. The first way is to stop the thoughts. Don't think too much before the event. Overthinking can lead to negative thoughts, especially if you are apprehensive about it. Let the situation come and don't make assumptions about things in advance. Don't imagine a negative situation when you feel negative thoughts. If you are alone, you can try to stop it by saying it out loud. To stop negative thoughts, change the direction of your thinking. You can start counting down from 100 to 1. Another way you can do is take deep breaths. When a bad thought suddenly comes to your mind, it is natural to feel worried or nervous. But do not let the thought persist for a long time, and to stop it, take five deep and long breaths for 30 seconds. Third method, repeat positive sentences, positive affirmations can be used in different ways. These can be adopted with the same technique as is adopted to stop negative thoughts. In other words, as soon as you feel a negative thought coming into your mind, you repeat a positive thing like I can do this, or I am strong, etc. As we know, we have conscious and subconscious mind. Subconscious mind is very powerful. Conscious mind creates a thought and sends it to the subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind starts creating thoughts, so we should train our conscious mind to create mostly positive thoughts. For that, the person should practice positive thinking and remove negative thoughts. Soon the mind starts thinking only positive thoughts. Fourth method, practice accepting all circumstances. Accepting all types of situations calmly is challenging, but it is important. We all know that we do not have complete control over our lives. Let everything be pleasant all the time. It is not possible to settle down, so when we face success and failure equally as part of life, we can be at peace with ourself. Negativity increases when things do not go according to our ways, acceptance and flow. Going with is an important way to avoid negativity in life. Fifth method, write on paper and destroy. If your negative thoughts are linked to a particular strong emotion like fear, anger, or jealousy, then try to write them all down. Take a pen and paper and express all those negative thoughts by writing them on paper, then destroy this paper which will help in moving forward. People who cannot express themselves by writing can do so through artistic endeavors like drawing and then destroy it. The purpose of this technique is to draw out your negativity so that you can eliminate it in a satisfactory, symbolic way. Sixth method, reason with yourself. When our mind is weak, the negativity overpowers it, but when we are emotionally strong, so we ignore the negativity and move on. As soon as you feel the cycle of negativity starting, try to reason with yourself. This technique involves finding a sentence that you have to repeat. You have to tell yourself this. Take a deep breath and practice this attitude. For example, if the negative thought is the reason for not getting a good job, repeat, I have struggled to get a good job. This does not mean that I will never get a good job in the future. To remove stress and negativity after your chosen sentence, exhale while saying the word, relax. Similarly, whatever is the reason for your negativity, Find one of your sentences and tell it. Repeat the process. Seventh method, prevent negative thought patterns from forming. Do not let your mind get set in a predetermined pattern of thoughts. Many times it happens that when we start thinking about someone, negative thoughts start coming. At that time, the pattern of thoughts. 
The conscious mind follows a set routine without your interference. When our mind is set in a pattern of negative thoughts, it follows that pattern. Eighth way to avoid being surrounded. Don't sit idle. Most of the bad thoughts come during free time when we are having fun. When the mind is free, it starts wandering due to distraction and negative thoughts. Start coming. In the free time, do anything of your interest like listening to music, reading, exercising, drawing, etc. Ninth way, practice meditation that is positive thinking and mental practice meditation to enhance health. While meditating, our body and mind are in sync with each other. When we focus on our slow breathing, it helps to relax and calm our mind. In this way, we, you can face challenges easily. Set aside some time every day for meditation. Tenth way, pay attention to physical health. Pay attention to your diet and exercise. This will help you stay happy and positive. Our body releases hormones while working out. Those who generate positivity. Studies have proved that people who do regular exercise remain happy and satisfied. To keep negativity away, set aside some time for exercise. So friends, let us now know how to identify negative people and avoid them. How to avoid negative people. How to understand negative people. First method, the constant complaining trait. Negative people have a tendency to complain constantly, whether it is about their job, relationships, or life in general. They find faults in almost everything. Recognizing this constant negativity is the key to negative people. The second approach is to constantly treat pessimists as half empty. They focus on potential problems and obstacles rather than finding solutions. If you're not careful, their pessimistic approach can become exhausting and cloud your own perspective. The third way it can affect is lack of accountability. Negative individuals often avoid responsibility for their actions. They blame external factors or other people instead of taking ownership of their problems. This behavior can be toxic and hinder personal growth. Fourth, negative people are energy vampires. Spending time with them can leave you feeling emotionally drained and exhausted. Recognizing the impact their presence has on your energy levels is important to your well-being. Audiences now know how to spot negative people. The first way is to pay attention to verbal cues. Listen to the language the person uses. Constant negativity. Complaining and a pessimistic tone are clear indicators of a negative mindset. If a person repeatedly can't, will, won't, uses words like never or never, this could be a red flag. Another way to pay attention to body language. Negative people often display certain signs of body language, are slouched posture, lack of eye contact, and generally closed behavior. Negative people. Body language can indicate mindset. In contrast, positive people's body language is more open and engaging. Third way evaluate social media activity. A person's online presence can provide valuable insight into their mindset. Constantly posting complaints, negative thoughts, or online disputes. Engaging in negativity are signs of negativity. Be careful about what people share on social media platforms. Fourth way, consider their sphere of influence. People are often a product of their environment. If a person is surrounded by negative individuals, it is likely that their outlook be the same. Evaluate the company they live in to better understand their viewpoint. So, the audience. Now we know the ways to avoid negative people. The first solution is to set boundaries. Establish clear boundaries with negative people. Explain your boundaries and let them know that you won't tolerate constant negativity. This can help create a healthy dynamic in your relationship. Another solution is to pick your battles. Not every battle is worth fighting. Negative people may try to lure you into their drama over issues you relate to. Be selective about who you are and prioritize your mental well-being. 
Third tip, practice empathy. While protecting yourself from negativity is important, practicing empathy can help you understand the root of someone's negativity. However, be careful that in the process, don't absorb their negative energy. Fourth solution, surround yourself with positivity. Cultivate a positive and uplifting environment by surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals. Seek out friends, family, and co-workers who share a positive outlook on life. Fifth Solutions Focus on solutions. When faced with negativity, focus your attention on finding solutions. Encourage positive problem-solving discussions rather than focusing on current issues. This approach can help redirect negative energy into constructive work. To maintain a positive and fulfilling life in a world full of diverse personalities, it is important to learn to recognize negative people and adopt effective strategies to avoid their influence. It is important to understand the signs of negativity and actively implement measures to protect your well-being. By doing this, you empower yourself to approach relationships with confidence and resilience. Remember, choosing positivity isn't just a mindset. It's a way of life that leads to greater happiness and success. Let us now listen to the inspirational stories of the power of positive thinking. First story, leave the negative attitude and adopt a positive attitude. Problems and difficulties are always there for everyone in life, but some people view everything with a negative attitude. They are always worried. They are always surrounded by worry and stress and create an atmosphere of tension in their home and family. They are not happy with anything and close their way to move ahead. Some people are like this. There are also those who look at everything in life from a positive perspective. They see the positive side of every problem and are mostly happy. With a negative perspective, we turn even the smallest problem into a big problem. And with a positive attitude, even the biggest problems can be easily overcome. A person was worried for a long time due to which he became very irritable and stressed. He was worried that he had to bear all the expenses of the house. He has to bear the responsibility of the entire family. It is on him. Some relative keeps visiting his place. He has to pay a lot of income tax, etc. Thinking about these things, he used to be very upset and would often scold the children. He used to give money and most of the time he used to quarrel with his wife on some issue or the other. One day his son came to him and said, Dad, please get my school homework done. The man was already under stress, so he scolded his son and sent him away. But after some time, when his anger calmed down, he went to his son and saw that the son was sleeping and he had a copy of his homework in his hand. When he took the copy, he saw that he had done the homework. As soon as he put the copy down, his petty DDD, look at the title of the homework. The title of the homework was those things which we do not like in the beginning, but later they become good. On this title, the child had to write a paragraph which he had written. Out of curiosity, he started reading what the child had written. The child had written, I am very thankful to my final exams because initially they do not seem good at all, but after them, school holidays come. I am very thankful to the bitter medicines with bad taste because in the beginning they are bitter. I am very thankful to God who gave me such a good father because initially I feel very bad when he scolds me, but he brings me toys, takes me for a walk, and feeds me good things. And I am happy that I have a father because my friend Sohan has a father. Once upon a time, a boy lived in the forest. He lost his way in the forest and his eyes fell on a helpless fox who was unable to walk. He started wondering how this helpless fox would wait for food and drink. Then he saw a lion coming. He thought that this lion would eat the fox, but the lion had some animal's meat pressed in its mouth. He put that meat in front of the fox and went away. The boy started thinking that God is very merciful that he has made arrangements for the food of this helpless fox. After coming home, he decided that just as God arranged for the food of that fox, he should also arrange for my food. Due to this stubbornness, he remained hungry for many days. When his guru came to know about his actions, he reached his house and told the whole story to the guru. She told me and said that God was kind to that fox, 
then why did he become cruel to me? Why did he show me such a scene? Hearing her question, the guru said smilingly, Son, you did not understand God's signal. God did not treat you like that helpless fox. Rather, God had inspired you to become like that brave lion. God wanted you to become like that lion after seeing this scene, who is also brave and has a feeling of helping others. The fault is not God's, but your attitude, you fox. In his helplessness, you saw God delivering food to him, but you ignored the perspective of how the food reached him. Therefore understand God's gesture, get up and eat. Do not make yourself helpless like a fox, but brave and self-reliant like a lion, so that when the time comes, you can help others. After the Guru's explanation, that boy's outlook towards life changed. This happens with us also, when many times the situations around us are similar, when we do not see the positive aspects shown by God, and only we focus our attention on negativity only. Positive solutions are hidden in negative situations. Friends, I hope that listening to this story will bring good changes in your life. Do tell us by commenting what you learned from this video, and by sharing this story with your family friends or someone close to you, make them also aware of this knowledge.